Hi, I'm Eric Pratt from U.S. Broadcast Distribution, and today we're going to be taking a look at this amazing product from New Blue Effects. This is the Fusion. It's a 1U graphics powerhouse capable of putting out multiple channels of key and fill for your traditional switcher or up to 16 channels of NDI for NDI capable production systems. So let's take a look at it. Let's start with the back of the unit. There are five SDI plugs. One is for Genlock, and then the other four are for two pairs of fill and key. There are also four mini display port connectors to drive up to four displays. There are two gigabit NICs so that you can connect to both internal and external networks so that you can have your own NDI network on one NIC and a connection to your Facebook page on the other. So let's take a look at the software itself. So this is the new BlueFX software, and this particular version running on the Fusion is broadcast. And the broadcast version of the software, it can run up to 16 different channels of NDI. It also comes with a wide range of different kinds of templates. So I'm going to back up to our top level template here, and we've got camera frames, we've got gaming, Facebook, um, titles, lower thirds, sports, social media, and these are just a few. And then those different templates can be accessed through the different tabs. Now, I've created four tabs, and I'll show you how they connect in vMix, but how they would connect in TriCaster is roughly the same way, or any system that can take an NDI. So these are our four uh, tabs that I've created, and those roughly line up in my vMix system to my four channels of overlay. Those different templates can be loaded here. We can preview them by double clicking on the different folders and then rolling over them to see what it exactly it is that this template does. So I've loaded several to give you an idea. And this is just a simple lower third. And if we wanted to play it, we would just click play, and you can see it playing in the upper, well, it was already on. You can see it come on, and then it also has space for a logo. So this space right here is for controlling the different NDI um, streams, as well as the templates within them, which are active. Now, you can have multiple um, titles or graphics running simultaneously, so you can build up a layered, a complicated layered on a uh, layer, number of layers on a single NDI um, stream. If I want to make changes to it, all I have to do is click on the title that I want to edit, and it updates over here in the attributes window. So if I come in here and type in my name, and I'll put um, my name and company info here, it's basically it's ready to go. So it did re-render, but it did it really quickly. So when I click play now, you can see that Eric Pratt, US Broadcast Distribution, is already here. And I can do that for any template in the system. For example, this one says Mayhem, Nonstop Calamity. And if I wanted to go in here and make a change to it, um, we'll call this Fusion. And hopefully, we'll just put No Calamity. So you can see this little um, timer here going uh, around. And as soon as it's done, it'll be ready to play. Now, you may be wondering, well, what happens if I need to play it before it's ready? It does have a still frame ready to go. And once you've made a change to it, you wouldn't make changes frequently to something like this because this is a large full screen graphic. When I click play on this, now you can see that Fusion and the background is animated and then, you know, the no calamity comes in. So that's an example of how this system works. And we can do that again for all of these. But we don't always just make changes manually to the different inputs. For example, um, we have a lot of different sports graphics. So I've, sele I've selected this um, sports system, this um, scoreboard for baseball up here in the upper left. And up here next to attributes, we also have a number of different tabs that I've added. And this one here is for SportsCast for connecting to, for example, a SportsCast device, which is going to be feeding the XML from the scoreboard and driving this interface automatically. 
Now, let's say you don't have a scoreboard you or an interface to it. You can manually control these things as well. So I have added a scoreboard tool for baseball. And when I make changes to it here, it's reflected up on the screen there. So you can see I'm incrementing the number of balls. Um, I can increment the visitor or the home. So all of the controls for it are available through this tab. So this is the scoreboard tool for baseball. And there's a scoreboard tool for each different kind of sport. Um, other ways of accessing things, we could do spreadsheets, uh, social media, which I'll get to in a second. So let me um, actually go back to here so that I can access my inputs and show you all the different kinds of inputs there are. You can read text files, you can connect to APIs, you can take a clock data, you can connect this to an RSS feed, a uh, spreadsheet, which would be uh, an, XS, uh, an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV. Sports, so here's the different sports integrations for Sportscast, Stat Crew, traditional uh, clocks, RSS, spreadsheet again. Gaming, if you wanted to connect to Twitch or Twitter or StreamTip or Streamlabs, these are all different kinds of integrations that would again pop up over here. And then last is Social Pro. This is the different integrations. So let me show you um, the social media integration. So Social Pro, I had selected um, my feed from Facebook. And um, if I wanted to change it from this feed from NAB to this one from uh, just the other day, you'll notice that the image changes, the text changes, my name stays the same, the date changes. So we can go through anything in the stream and select those inputs and say, ah, let's talk a little bit about Saki or you know, let's, uh, let's bring up this feed from NAB. So this is just one of the templates and you can see that it's being updated. Let's take a look at how this integrates with vMix on the other side of the NDI ecosystem. Those four channels of NDI are coming into vMix through these four NDI inputs. So these four NDI inputs have been mapped to uh, the four different overlays. So I can turn them on individually or all at once, and I can control them from the vMix side of things, or I can control them from the new blue effect side of things. So if we have an operator running the fusion, then they can be the one driving what is up on the screen. However, NDI has a neat integration, um, or vMix has a neat integration with new blue effects via NDI. So if I want to, I could, for example, right click on this. Um, this is our, our NDI feed. And I can go into commands and I can say animate in all. And if you watch down here, you can see all of my animations are going. So let me turn that on so that we can see that in our, our larger screen. And if I go in here under commands and say animate out all, it takes everything off. So there's animations to take each layer off and they each take a little bit of their own time. If I wanted to just bring up one, so I'm going to want to bring in my um, title. So my number one, uh, number one NDI feed, number one title template is my lower third here. And that allowed me to trigger the new blue effect system, the fusion running over here to run that. And that's done via metadata through NDI. And then I can take it out as well. So you can have several different methods of um, controlling this. So you can have an operator running it. You can have on, on the new blue effect side, you can have an operator running it on the vMix side. And we can uh, alternately, we can also have the uh, operator just taking layers on and off. So that's how new blue effects would integrate with uh, vMix or any other NDI system um, to bring in multiple channels of NDI and use them as overlays or inputs. And that in a nutshell is how new blue effects has created the fusion product to work with both traditional switchers and NDI enabled switchers to create powerful integrations with sports, social media, presentation through multiple channels of NDI and fill and key. If you have any more questions about it, please feel free to visit our website and 
take a look at it on Nublu Effects' website and contact us or one of our resellers for more information on how you can obtain this fabulous piece of equipment. Thanks for watching.